Uh, that town hall last night, President Biden insisting he's not Satan reincarnated and expressing there's no excuse to downplay the January 6th Capitol Hill riots. Watch this. I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnated. <laughs> the fact is, you can't look at that television and say nothing happened on the 6th. You can't listen to people who say this was a peaceful march. No, I'm serious. Think about it. Think of the things being said. I've been through the other end of this when the Democrats 35 years ago were way off to the other side. Think about it. Joining us to discuss, that is Dr. Jeff Myers, president of Summit Ministries. Our panelists standing by, Jack Kingston, Jennifer Kearns, Dino Scaros. Um, thanks, everyone, for coming on. I appreciate that. I, you know, I just want to point this out as a reminder. Many officials, including Republicans, have condemned the events of January 6th. That has been done over and over. But Dr. Myers, your reaction to that moment from last night, when I said it, Satan reincarnated, I know someone on their screen scratched their head until they actually heard it. Your thoughts on the president using that term there at that tone hall? You know, the, the students I work with think that President Biden is fine, but I look at him as a catalog of logical fallacies. And this particular logical fallacy is called straw man. In other words, build up an argument that nobody has ever actually made and then knock it down to make yourself appear to be right. I don't remember anybody ever saying that the Joe Biden is Satan incar uh, incarnate. I do remember people talking about how he's exacerbating financial policies that will destroy the country and a whole lot of other things, but not Satan reincarnate. And I don't, I have never heard any, I'm like you, Sean, I've never heard anybody mm -hmm. say yeah. that January 6th was a peaceful march. So I, I think he's building up uh, the wrong kind of case here. And once again, learning how to alienate Americans every day. You know, Jen Kearns, I, I wonder if, if, if Biden is pointing to maybe, maybe not necessarily um, verbalizing people actually believing he's saying Satan reincarnate, but possibly pointing to people thinking they're crazy. And that was his way of doing it, uh, Jen Kearns. Maybe so. You know, he might not be the uh, Satan reincarnated, but he is the third uh, a term of Barack Obama. So in some ways, he is the Barack Obama administration reincarnated. You look at the folks around him, uh, from Susan Rice to Samantha Power to others who served in the uh, Obama administration with him, uh, the policies are exactly the same, whether it's uh, on a southern border crisis, uh, you name it, the economy. We're going through this same things we went through in the first two Obama administrations. And look, as for the peaceful march, Donald Trump spoke for 90 minutes. He spoke 10,000 words. Everything was peaceful uh, when Donald Trump was on the stage and for some time after. Uh, I think we all know what happened on January 6th, a small group of people uh, doing things they shouldn't have been in the Capitol doing. Uh, Dino Scar, is your thoughts? Oh, I'm sorry. He's not here. Jack Kingston. Um, I, you know, I think Dr. Byers has taught me a new term, the straw man argument like this, because because where I would say the Democrats are so good about the straw man is they're trying to act like, don't worry about the socialism. Don't worry about the spending. Don't worry about the border crisis. Worry about January 6th, because that's the big issue. And that's the big lie that that was peaceful and that was not an insurrection and that Trump really won. Um, but they do always talk about hyperbole and they're good communicators. I actually uh, would hate to say it. I do hate to say it, but I think, you know, it's a good line because it does make him sound logical. But um, it, it's a marketing tool. The, if they can keep January 6th blown out of proportion, if they can keep January 6th on the consciousness of the American people, then they can go get away with the socialist program that they've been doing so well with. And um, yeah. it, it, it's sickening to me because there were far more violence, far more people injured and people murdered in Portland, Seattle, Chicago, St. Louis, Minneapolis. But that has um, no there's no consistency when it comes to the media scrutiny of mob misbehavior. No, the only killing was of Ashley Babbitt there by a Capitol police officer there inside of the Capitol building who still remains nameless, at least officially. Um, Dr. Jeff Myers, before you go, uh, we continue to follow the protests in Cuba. Um, some in the religious community are criticizing the Pope, Pope Francis. In a recent op-ed, uh, Cubans and Venezuelan Catholics feel betrayed by the Pope, with many Cubans wondering whether Pope Francis cares more about plastics in the ocean than thousands of desperate Cubans. Uh, 
I'll, I'll ask you that, Doctor. Where is Pope Francis, Francis during all of this? And just your overall thoughts of the stances that he has taken uh, in recent months and years. Well, Pope Francis, for many years, has played with liberation theology, which is a belief that you can somehow combine aspects of Christianity about the life of Jesus with a Marxist worldview, that because Jesus cared for the poor, therefore he was a revolutionary who was coming to overthrow the government and and allow equity uh, to redistribute the wealth. Uh, when you begin playing with this idea, you automatically have to make your peace with Marxist dictators because they are the ones who are the potential saviors. And I'm sad to say I'm, I'm not a Catholic. Uh, I, I think I would a lot rather people look back at somebody like John Paul II who went to Cuba and told, told the Catholics there, you need to be strong because you are being persecuted. Persecution will refine your faith. But when yeah. Pope Francis is essentially ignoring it, I, this has got to be very discouraging for Cuban Catholics. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.